Hello, it is Monday and I'm Ethan. Welcome back to another week on the Scott Trans channel. Um, sorry I missed last week. I'm actually going to combine it in with this week because the topics are very similar. So I am going to talk jointly about relationships and sexuality. As you can probably guess, I am not filming on my usual setup. Um, instead, I'm doing a kind of quicker and easier vlog on my phone because I am having technical issues with the microphone. It's not picking up. Um, so I'm going to need to fix that. Um, but for just now, this will be absolutely fine. Um, so yes, as I said, sorry I missed last week. Um, these are kind of difficult topics to talk about and I'm not really sure where to start. Um, so for me, right now, I am not um, involved with anybody. I'm not in a relationship and I'm quite happy. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me because I would rather wait and find the right person who appreciates me for me because the thing I have found over the past 18 months um, dating as a trans man is tough um, I just I find it very difficult and very uncomfortable because for the most part there are a lot of uncomfortable questions which are very personal and inappropriate um, about where I am in my transition, if I've had any surgeries, etc. Um, also people wanting to know if I still have a chest, um, what I've got going on with genitals, wanting to know if I'll wear female underwear and thing and it just, you know what, it just makes me really uncomfortable. And because I have a lot of social anxiety and discomfort around myself as it is, I just, I really don't feel like putting anything like that on top of it. Um, so there's that, but then there's also the big question about sexuality. You know, does being transgender change your sexuality? Um, which I, I don't think you can, you know, it's, it's not a cause. Like before I was, happily in my own mind classed as a straight female um, so does that mean now I am still attracted to men or does that mean I am still straight and therefore I'm now attracted to females frankly it's not anybody's business but your own you do you you're attracted to whoever you're attracted to being transgender should not in any way have anything to do with how you view having a relationship. You have a relationship with someone because you like them, whether that's romantically, friendship or otherwise, you know, just in general, forming relationships with people is person-centric, so it's between you and the other person. Yeah, this... I, I don't really have anything else to say this week because I find it a very difficult topic to talk about and a lot of people have got a preconceived notion of this decision in their mind that says they need to get me a guy because I was dating guys previously and stuff and on top of all of that it really annoys me when people view my being trans as a fetish um, or they'll say things like oh but I'm really attracted to female to male transgender people and I'm like what even like I don't even know it just navigating the world of dating and relationships and sexuality is hard enough Navigating life as a transgender person is hard enough, so 
basically putting all that together in one is even harder. Um, so, yeah. I've been Ethan, you've been awesome, I love you all so much and I will see you next week, hopefully with my actual camera working properly. Okay, bye.